I'm Kathy Johnson from Pyramid of Potential. This is video 52 of 60 of, in the Harnessing Learning Potential video series. Today we're talking about writing. So what are the cause of writing problems? You know, somebody who has difficulty with writing, whether it's uh, poor handwriting or getting their thoughts on paper. Um, well, first of all, their body may not be set up in order to have good handwriting. Um, there may be issues that are causing them not to be able to hold their pencil correctly or uh, be able to have access to their um, gross motor movements and their full body control. So we see fine and gross motor difficulties. Um, these can be caused by a retained primitive reflex. For example, a primitive reflex is a stage of development uh, that happened in infancy or maybe perhaps a child didn't completely go through. So there is a reflex called the Palmer reflex and when the baby's born their um, th thumb is inside their fist but then immediately after their thumb comes outside their fist. And some people don't go further than that in their development so that they can then have access to all their fingers. And so if their hand is still really tightly closed this is how they might find it most comfortable to hold their pencil. Okay, see, it's just like that reflex. Now, if they're holding it like this, um, they may have issues with uh, being able to really have good motor development, planning with, with their wrist and, and other places, and they definitely can't, you know, be moving their pencil around using their fingers because it's so tight like that. Um, there are other motor planning issues that come up with primitive reflexes. Remember, this is a reflex that they cannot help. Okay, it's not like it's something that they can immediately just say, oh, oh, okay, I'll hold my pencil like this. No, you've probably seen some of these kids who the most they can do is kind of grab it like that or like that or like that. Um, some might even get to the tripod grip but they're pressing so hard that they have a uh, that they have a callus right there on their finger. So um, also their brain, the other thing that can happen is their brain may not be set up yet for good communication. Our brain has two hemispheres. Um, the left hemisphere is primarily where language is um, is set up and the right hemisphere is primarily where creative writing is set up and so for some people or creative creativity is set up so for some people it's difficult to use both hemispheres at the same time their brain isn't set up for it yet so what can you do first of all start with um, reflex integration the reflexes that are the most important for dysgraphia um, or for writing are the Palmer, the Tonic Labyrinthine Reflex, or TLR, and the Asymmetrical Tonic Neck Reflex, or ATNR. Those are really important. The next thing to do is work on vision. Okay, these three also set up the visual network uh, in the brain. So um, you don't want to just jump into vision first. Do these first, and then you can do visual training, um, there are some uh, free and cheap vision training uh, resources online. Uh, the very best is to work with a professional for vision therapy. So those are, those are some ideas. Vision therapy, yes, is more expensive, but, but you're working with a doctor, um, an eye doctor, who has uh, been to training. So those are some ideas, but then, once they can see well and move their body well, um, and uh, we've got to train good communication between the hemispheres, okay, so that requires brain training. Uh, we also need to retrain the pen grip. So, you know, just because they now have access to all their fingers, we need to retrain this so that they now know what's the best way to hold their pen. And then we have to retrain how to draw the letters. They might still be drawing the letters from the bottom and the wrong way around, rather than uh, doing it the way that it's most normal for people to write. 
So uh, these are some things for handwriting. Uh, we still need to, you know, what if we're working with a high schooler, still need to go back and teach how to correctly write an essay. Maybe they learned it in third or fourth grade, but they don't remember it because they hadn't gone through all that training. So you definitely need to set up the brain, set up um, the, the um, retraining and remediation. And then you can get rid of those writing problems. Our next video is on dysgraphia. Now I'll be going over uh, the definitions of dysgraphia. And so I'll be seeing you at that one. Thanks. Bye-bye.